Do we get to talk? Why there are emergency jugs of water? So that if we had an earthquake in Los Angeles, we have jugs of water over there. <laughs> That's some smart planning there. Huh? What could they do? What could they do? What do you do? What do you have in this cup over here, Mr. Eden? Let's get back into this. Though. We're talking to Jack. But why if there's an earthquake, we need water? Maybe Let's hear Jack's answer. You want to ask Jack? Jack, what, why do we need water in the earthquake? Well, if you get trapped in the house or something, you need to have something you can drink. Because like you're drinking now, you know, you'll get thirsty if you don't have water. So um, it's just good in case you know, there's an emergency. Three jugs. Well, we have more than that. That's actually just a little port of the well. We don't have that much water, but we have a, enough for us. You Basically, know, there's, there's a rule. Well, you, need, you need a gallon per person per day. For three days, 72 hours. That's the right amount of stuff to have. Why? Because in, exactly. in an earthquake, you know what happens? The water still might come from the hose or it might still come from the sink. The problem is if there's a big earthquake, you don't know if the pipes underground broke. So what if the the sewage pipe, were all, what goes in the sewage? Poop. poop. What if the poop sewage line cracked open and then right next to it is our drinking water line? How do you think that water is going to taste? Not so good. You think you're going to want to drink that water, or are you going to want to drink this water bottle water over here? Well, the, yeah. Would you prefer the emergency? Uh, I would much prefer the emergency. Definitely, yes. What if, uh, old, what if our emergency drugs were all bump, like, all wasted? Would you rather, what if there was an old jug of water on the counter that has been for 10 days and it got moldy? And there was no emergency drugs. Great question. Would you drink is, it? Is this a question for Jack or yeah. a question for Dad? Daddy. A Daddy question? You know what I would do if that was the case? Okay, so first of all, if all I had the choice of was poop water or moldy 10-day counter water, yeah. well, first what I would do is I'd see if we were able to use the gas lines. But probably if there was a big earthquake, the gas would be shut off as well. So what I would do is I would try to, we have some water tablets. Mm. We also have a life straw. So we have cleaning tablets that we could put into that water to clean it and make it safe to drink. Or we could drink it through the life straw that we have so that it would be. But what if we didn't have a life oh, straw? Oh, just you're asking like worst case yeah. scenario. I'm curious Jack's answer because pilots know a lot of cool nifty stuff. Jack, how about you? What would you do? Yeah. If I didn't have any of the life straws, if I didn't have a you know a way to heat it up, it's, I don't know if this this might be a very bad answer. Um, but I would well, a you probably could drink even if there's some mold. You're probably gonna be okay. You probably won't you know you're probably gonna be just fine. And it's, it's like ten days isn't gonna do a whole lot. But you might be able to give if you could had some like pool chlorine nearby. You could put a little bit of chlorine or maybe even a very small 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 amount of bleach um and and mix it in there and as long as it's like a tiny tiny amount it would still kill the bacteria um and the mold and uh it wouldn't be enough to hurt you so um again i'm not no water treatment expert but oh, that's uh, right that's good if i had to that's good yeah we could there's disinfecting no, no, that we have too no, huh. but what if we didn't have cleaning tablet or emergency straw or bleach uh, or uh, anything you're just talking uh, worst case uh, scenario uh, oh Yep, you just gotta drink it then. Oh, no hope for the best. Water, and the only water that we had was moldy water. Okay, I would do one more thing because I know for sure we have a strainer. We have our pasta strainer. If yeah. it's big chunky pieces of mold, at least I would just yes. put water through the strainer to we, get the chunks of mold. What out of if there. we didn't have a oh, strainer? Okay, well, then <laughs> we have toilet paper. Toilet paper wipes your butt. I could pour the moldy water through the toilet paper, and the toilet paper would be the filter. That would work. Yeah, toilet paper. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> then you could just eat the mold. Then I would just be drinking some moldy water. Would you want to drink moldy water? Because what if that is the only water in the house that you had? So, do you know how, does Jack know how long a human can go without drinking water? Ooh. It depends on if you're in the desert or if you're in a house or where you're at. But if you're in a house and you were well hydrated before, I would guess maybe four days. I don't know. Maybe a little longer. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. I think it's actually the rule of threes. You want to know the rule of threes, Aiden? No. This is sorry. This is not interviews with about Daddy, but I just no, no. It's good. It's good. What's it of learning? Yeah, what? survival. So, yeah, so you can go three minutes about without breathing Why? so you need oxygen so you can go about three minutes without breathing and you'll still be okay and you can go about three days with water and you'll be okay 
And you know you can go about three weeks without food, and you'll probably be okay if you had water and you had air. So that's why it's the rule of threes, because you can go about three minutes and about three without air, and about three days without water, and about three weeks without food. Why three weeks without food? I would be hungry. That wouldn't be fun, would it? I would not be fun. I would be fine. What? <laughs> the, the, I don't know. The only thing that we eat is emergency ball. I would handle that for you. Yeah, but what if we don't have any emergency bars? I'm going to do your questions back to you. Then, <laughs> what if we have a quesadilla? What if we don't have any quesadillas? What if we only have a moldy quesadilla? Yeah. Would you eat it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about you, Jack? You had to. Yeah. Have I, you ever tried an emergency ration bar? I haven't tried emergency ration bars, but I do have some uh, what are called MREs, meal ready to eat, um, or meals ready to eat, and I've eaten plenty of those. So um, uh, they're I like ate, little pouches. I ate. What did they call? Emergency ration bar. I ate. A, I took lots of it's emergency ration bars. Though. Really yummy. They taste like chocolate. Oh, really? Balls. They taste well, like chocolate great. balls. Yeah. That's really yummy. That's, it sounds like a, a good thing to have in an emergency. If it tastes good and can keep you keep you alive. Yep. It was pretty dry. Like you would probably need to finish a mm-hmm. whole bar. You would need some water to go with it. I think because yeah. it but, was like but, real, but, really dry. What if you didn't have water? Oh no! I would just. Oh no. I would have to just deal with it. But you would need water because that's the thing that you need more to survive. No, you cannot drink the water from your shirt. Oh, but actually that would be a good way to filter out the mold from water. You could put it through that your shirt. That would work, yes. There you go. Or you cheese cloth. New ways. Yeah, that actually really would work. Um, so that, I tried to give you a deal by doing oh, that. Oh, that was your way to tell me another another path. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good thinking. Yeah. A lot of people will put... Like you just think about like a plastic bottle and they'll put the towel yeah. into the water and then they'll drink it. But there's a, wait a there's a good chance that there's still microbes and stuff on top of like the lip of the water because you oh, put all yeah, the water yeah. in there or you got it from right. cream or something like that. So a lot of right. people still get sick because they put the thing in the water and then they just drink it after they do the clarifying right, tablet. Right on a lip, right. But what you do, so if you're ever doing that, if you ever put bleach into the water or you put one of the tabs in, don't just drink it straight away. Squeeze the bottle a little bit so some of the water goes over the lip and the over clarifier the or the bleach will go over the lip before you take the sip. Ah. Uh, Can you imagine though if you didn't have water for like two and a half days, so you're still going to survive, but then like at the end of the two and a half, if that's even a word, but like at the end of the second day, you finally find water. Can you imagine how delicious that, that would be? That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, hi, dude. Oh, can, can I can I skip water for one whole day? No, dude. Right. I'm not willing to let you do that. Because right. thankfully we're uh, in a place where we have drinking water that you can right. drink. Yeah, you wouldn't feel very good. You'd probably get a headache, and you probably wouldn't feel very good if you didn't drink water for a day. 